Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm your boy Lincoln and this is... Tashi. We're new to this, so bear with us. If you're new here, uh, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and let's get into it. So in this video we are going to talk about a few tips that you can use um, when you're going to Panama from Jamaica, from our personal experience. So it's not necessarily going to be the same for everyone but these are just a few tips that you can consider when traveling to Panama from Jamaica. The first one, you have to do a COVID test 48 hours prior to your flight departure and it has to be negative it's not if it's not negative then you cannot travel to Panama all right and the other one is know your budget all right we have to step on that in terms of knowing your budget like you have to know what amount of money you're going to spend on food what amount of money you're going to spend on transportation and if you're going shopping you have to know where to shop and uh, where to buy the clothes that you're looking for if you're looking for bougie stuff you can go to multi plaza if you're looking for something a bit more low-key you can go to albrook mall for those kind of low-key clothing because you don't want to be there and say oh everything shopping take your money and then you don't have money to do other stuff around panama as well that's true that's true and it's good when you kind of have an idea of the stores that you want to visit because if you don't you're gonna see a lot of stores and by the time you um come up on the one the one store that you actually want to wanted to buy something specific in it's gonna be maybe too late or the place is closed or the whole day is finished you didn't get to get a good chance to look around to see what's in the store that you wanted to shop in so you have to know your budget so you know where to shop if it's just shopping or if you want to do excursions you have to know have a set budget in mind so everything can run smoothly the next tip is to ensure that you have on a data plan on your phone before you leave Jamaica because there's rarely free Wi-Fi in Panama at the airport in Panama you might you, you'll get about 30 minutes of Wi-Fi you have to log in and all of that in order to get 30 minutes of Wi-Fi you understand and when you arrive you're gonna want to contact maybe your Uber or your drive or whatever so you're going to need uh, Wi-Fi, you're going to need the internet. So our advice and tip is to ensure that you have on data on your phone. All right, so in terms of traveling transportation, it's best to use Uber service. Um, they're really convenient drivers. And like, let me tell you, they're really quick if you're if you book a uber like five minutes prior to leaving where you're going in less than five minutes they're gonna ping you on your phone that your uber driver has arrived and it is more cost friendly for most persons well for us it was very cost friendly for us as opposed to using the taxis there i heard that the taxis are very expensive and i think we asked one taxi driver just to see how much he would charge for the same journey and it was way more expensive so uber is definitely the way to go when you're traveling around panama city and another one is uber eats 
Yes, if you're at your hotel or your Airbnb and you're staying and you don't feel like going on the road to buy food, Uber Eats got you like that. They're, they're very fast. You don't have to wait like two, three hours to get your food. And it is, it's not much for the delivery. Um, what you would pay and the food is the same price as what you go inside the stores and see. Yeah man, really quick. Because we were in the hotel and we were on the... What? How much floor again? Um, I'm not quite sure the floor. Yeah, we were yeah. very high. Very high up. Probably 15, the 15th floor or something like that. And as soon as we ordered, we are there relaxing a little bit. When you look, we have to rush go downstairs to get the, get the food from the guy. Because we didn't want him to be out there waiting. You understand? So they are very fast. Very, very efficient. So don't worry about food when you're in Panama. Just ensure that you have the Uber Eats app and you're good to go and another thing plan your trip so you know exactly before you even go to panama plan your trip know what you're going to do on a specific day it might not go exactly as all you plan it say you want to do that this day but plan it so you know say all right the time there is well spent yes no time wasted you don't have to be spinning and turning wondering what you're going to do next what you want to do next or anything like that so if there are additional stuff that you would like to do yes that is just a plus but when you plan your excursions your excursions or your activities 90 percent of the time it goes how you want it to go all right so yeah so each day would be a very fulfilled day right if you plan your trip all excursion all activities if you're going to do go karting if you're going to go to monkey island or panama canal panama canal right and we recommend we definitely recommend a tour of the entire city right find a tour guide we recommend this tour guide right here we're going to leave his link right here his contact number and his name right and uh, we recommend him because he is very friendly he knows a lot about the history of panama right right so yeah richard big up yourself right so yeah man so make sure each day that you're in panama city it's a very fulfilled day so plan your trip the next thing is know where in Panama you want to stay. If you want to do the city life of Panama or you want to go to the nature side where it's more relaxing and outdoor kind of um, activities that you want it to get done. Right. The city, this, um, you have different types of people that want to, maybe you want to be in the countryside where you see a lot of trees, plants, animals, what have you right or if you want to be in the city where it's fast you see the tall buildings skyscrapers and all of that right both both sides are good but we went to the city we wanted to experience the city and it was very good we walked um a good journey because i was trying to find the tattoo shop and where again we, we wanted to find restaurants well, and, and we wanted to find a medical place to get the po um, the covid test done right so we did do a bit of walking and it was very good and then the next thing is learn basic spanish like where is the bathroom what's the price hello how much is it no. thank you all of that right it's it's good when you can um, communicate a little bit because remember they speak Spanish that's their native language right and it is it, it's just better if you have a basic of their knowledge um, sp uh, Spanish yeah basic of their language and uh, it's just it, it makes life easier for you and it makes the vacation easier instead of persons has because not everybody in panama knows how to speak english right. so they have to go and find someone who actually speaks some english to come and Fancy. communicate mm -hmm. with you to know what you want you understand so if you know a little bit of spanish that would, would be, be good. good 
but Thank just bear in mind there is always one person at any any given time where you go one person that knows english that can assist you yeah in all business places there's always at least one person that knows english which is very good thumbs up for panama next one check the weather every day because you might wake up in the morning and it is really really cold and by 10 o'clock falling and all of that and you're leaving out in your jacket and whatever whatever and by 10 o'clock sun bright hot red hot scorching you burn up you have to take off your jacket and then you have to be carrying your jacket over your arm or whatever so it's good to check the weather say i would say safety in panama it is tip top shape because like every corner you go there is a security personnel yeah police every corner every every minute every turn you make there are police officers there right in the old panama city there are military forces there it's it's it, i didn't feel threatened at all and we walked me my son and tashe we walked a uh, good journey and uh, we didn't feel threatened one bit you understand and people there were very very friendly very friendly people in panama so yes panama is pretty much safe we've heard stories but everywhere you go it uh, they always have the bad areas and uh, good areas good areas so but so we can just say check it for yeah, yourself. just check it for yourself don't follow hearsay just check it out for yourself to know if it's true or false my next one currencies all right so panama use two currencies they use us dollars and they use their own which is the panamanian dollar but they mainly accept the us because uh, you know the visitors and tourism so they mainly collect the us but they the panamanian dollars you they accept it as well but they rarely give it to visitors there they rather to give it back to their own people right so it's mostly us everywhere you go it's us the price tags that are on the items are in us dollars and the value of one panamanian dollar and a us dollar is the same thing same exact thing so it doesn't make a difference so us is their main currency basically thanks for watching that's it all right guys so thanks for watching that's it for this video this was the tips uh, for traveling from jamaica to panama if this video was informative don't forget to like share comment and subscribe peace Done.